What's the first programming language you ever used? Um, Python, probably. And uh, tell me about your programming. Well, I started out uh, started out with PHP. Then I learned uh, Python and C++ in school. And uh, now with our world of JavaScript, kind of forced into that paradigm. What was your, your first programming job? I can make it better. And what did you code there? Uh, I did Elixir and JavaScript. <laughs> and what else? <laughs> and Ruby. What language do you do for work? I'm using Ruby currently and working towards learning Clojure as well for work. That's a lot of different languages for your first job. Was that a mistake, having that company teach you so many languages at once? Uh, definitely not. Why? Um, well, just because it, it, it exposed me to um, thinking about problems in different ways. But wait a minute, so in our mentoring group, you use what language? Elixir. So why in the world would you want to learn so many languages at the same time? Um, does it make learning harder? Not really. I think even though they all have different parts of them, they're different strengths, I think learning them all at once gives me a better idea of what's special about each of them and how they're all similar as well. Why would you ever use a, a new language like Elixir when it's a JavaScript world? It's fun and different. Does fun help you learn or no? Yeah. Why? Because then I'm actually engaged in it and I have a reason for doing it. Because I feel like a lot of times when you're learning how to program, it can feel very like, here's the syntax, here's how you do it, okay, now you can go do a big project. But when you have, like, when it's fun early on, you continue it. How does fun accelerate learning? Well, I mean, it's hard, it's hard to want to learn something if you're not enjoying the process. How do you make programming fun? Uh, a couple different ways. I mean, challenging yourself with something very different. Um, so then you have something that isn't what you're used to, so it's not as boring. Um, and then doing it with people, I think, is another way to make it fun. They add their own different flavor to it. Tell me about your experience learning computer science in college. So what are some of the things that have worked for you? Um, not the stuff they push you to do in college, it's everything about what you do on your own, I think. Um, if you have a passion for it, if you, if, you, if you like it, everything you do extracurricular is what is up to me at least. What's the hardest problem that we've solved together? Definitely the robot one. Uh, just because, well, there's lots of different reasons, but I was going about it wrong at first. And then I didn't also know what all the tools were, but then once I knew what the tools were, I was like, oh, I can just use this reducer, and that puts everything together. So me trying to do it manually. This past week, I've been working on a project. Um, it's it's a decent sized application for the, for the health department in Kentucky, and uh, it's the application itself is built on Node.js. It started to grow quite a bit, and uh, just the language itself, uh, it, I'm starting to see so many so many things which have gone wrong. But the worst part is this is the worst part I've ever seen when I'm you know my whole programming career is not seeing an error. Like I know things are not working the right way, but I can't even see an error. So then I'll try to break the code, and when I see an error, oh my goodness, does that make me happy? Like it's just it's just a weird weird thing. And then when, whenever I go to Elixir or something, I see the error and I know exactly what's wrong. What? Um, it's just more intuitive. It's more um, the way that the language functional the functional language is built is just amazing. What makes you learn faster sometimes than others? Um, if you can be exposed to different ways of working through the problem, so you know different programming languages being exposed to different programming paradigms which you're going to encounter in different programming languages and things like that.